All right. I wanted to have a quick chat about how to organize your layers while animating in Clip Studio Paint. Because contrary to when you use Clip Studio Paint for drawing simply, and you have several layers, and you organize them with folders or not, when you're animating, the way you do it will change some of the functionality you can get out of it. So basically, uh, I'll first go over the um, way I organize the layers in most of my projects so far, which is to add, uh, use the animation folders as layers. So basically, I have one animation folders for my colors, um, even several if I have I want to separate, uh, let's say the colors of the air and stuff like that. And the same for the line work. So I have another animation folder for some of the line works. And what that will let me do is toggle off or on that color for my entire animation in one go. What it will not let me do, however, is duplicate the entire frame uh, in one go. So if I go here and I do um, duplicate layer and I go over here at 217 for let's say and I do specify cell and I add my 210A, I'm just going to get those colors. The other way you can go about this is uh, have um, a layer folder inside your animation folder and use that as your frames. So basically, if you do over here, you go and um, uh, you can do create folder, insert layer, uh, or just new layer folder over here. And then inside here, you can add new raster layers. Oops, let's put that in here. And then you can have your line work and your colors. You just have to rename your stuff. And those will all be a single cell that you can add here when you specify cell. So for example, if I were to have frame one with a green color, frame two with a red color, I could go here, select my layer folder, and do duplicate layer and then I have my 1a let's go and move that over here call that 3 and over here I can specify cell and then I can duplicate the whole cell in one go though the whole frame with the line work and the colors which seems like um, I should have been using that a lot, whole lot more. Uh, the only downside I found to this uh, way is that you cannot um, toggle off the colors or the line work in one go. But looking back, there's not that many uh, use for that functionality, it's, uh, except finding mistakes you've made, that, like working on your line work on your colors and vice versa. So yeah, to consider that those are two valid ways of going about and um, working your hierarchy, uh, organizing your frames so that uh, you get what you want out of uh, Clip Studio Paint when you're animating. So on that note, have a nice day and take care.